Hi there, I'm Mabel Jong and you're watching the World Healthcare Congress Interview Zone and right now we have Sundar Subramanian on uh, the hot seat in the interview chair and you're a partner at Booz and Company and you co-lead the firm's Medicaid Medicare Center for Excellence. Welcome. That's correct. Thank you. Now Sundar, uh, it was just announced or finalized the deal between Booz and PwC. That's correct. How will this affect clients globally? Sure. Um, Booz and Company, we've always had a positioning around being practical strategists. Now with PwC and our new brand, by the way, aptly called Strategy And, is, um, is really about that, which is now we are able to bring to clients end-to-end uh, -end capabilities from strategy through execution. Uh, that could mean we develop, identify strategies, but also support them in execution of various forms. Okay, and why did it seem like a smart combination to be part of PwC? Sure, um, first of all, culturally, it's very akin uh, we are both very client focused and cult, you know and the partners are a very collaborative culture um, but the value proposition to the market for the clients was just phenomenal which is we lead the strategy space especially talking about healthcare in an event like World Healthcare Congress where uh, the industry is going through a transformation and clients are asking for not just ability to you know advise on good strategy but actually end to end solutions we are able to be with them through the transformation by coming together in the suite of capabilities that we bring. Mm -hmm. Do we, should we expect consolidation in the healthcare sector in certain businesses? Does that make sense? Um, sure, more broadly speaking in healthcare, um, there's going to be consolidation in specific sectors. We've written about consolidation in provider, um, you know, and hospital systems where, you know, uh, groups can come together to start managing populations um, as well as in terms of Medicare Advantage for instance um, there are lots of plants that currently are smaller plants that are struggling mm -hmm. that um, you know by coming together and having scale with broader membership they can meet the needs of both uh, pressures and rate and meeting consumer needs. Okay. Now it was really uh, it was recently written in your department that there would be a five to four to five percent cut in Medicaid payments. Do I have that uh, amount correct? Correct. This and was um, so there was an announcement. Um, you know the draft call letter from CMS. Um, you know uh, February, and we are expecting the final release now which announced the intent to cut another four to five percent rates for Medicare Advantage. Yes. Which was, um, as um, you may know, last year was a similar set of cuts. Yes. So that is affecting plans in a big way because you're taking away the big margins for that. Mm -hmm. So what's next, do you think, to come in this area? Um, I think um, the payments may flatten out from here, but it does mean that the landscape's going to change. There will be only plants that we write about what's called a survival of the fittest. Yes. So really, we see either larger plants with scale or regional plants that have very tight community relationships and provider working relationships are the ones that can survive this kind of pressure. And for those who survive, there's, of course, membership and um, you know value to be added in the society there. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Sundar. I really appreciate your time today. You bet. Thank you. And I'm Mabel Jong. Thanks for watching.